for every Filipino basketball player, street basketball has been a major part of the development in the sport. Three-on-three -three basketball may be considered as the roots of the game here in Manila. With the popularity of streetball, there's no wonder why it has become big all over the globe. In 2015, Sina Sports introduced their street basketball tournament, the Sina 3x3 Golden League in China, and is currently in their fourth staging of the tournament. They're now hosting events in 82 Chinese cities. For the first time, Sina, along with their marketing partners, Media Pro Asia, have brought their street basketball format to Manila with the launch of 3x3 Golden League Manila 2018. Together with the National Basketball League and other local partners, the highly competitive 3-on-3 basketball tournament has made its way to the Philippine shores in an attempt to elevate our Pinoy streetball talents to a bigger stage. This year, uh, we also expanded uh, our you know, Hong Kong stop, and Manila stop is our first international stop ever. So the first overseas stop, we definitely wanted to you know, see uh, how our league can grow internationally, but also and we want to see you know, how Filipinos and how uh, you know, Philippine basketball play differently as, you know, as basketball in China. So yeah, this is kind of like orange. We want to keep like, looking forward to having more events here. Media Pro Asia is a sports agency out of Spain. Uh, we've been look, based in Singapore for the past five years. Uh, what we've done is uh, we've worked with Sina in China to expand the Sina 3 on 3 to other parts of Asia as well. And Manila is actually the first stop, uh, first of many stops that we want to do next year. Uh, one thing that we want to do next year is actually do way beyond Manila, Cebu, Boracay, somewhere to get more teams to part take part in this. So, this is the first one. It's been quite successful so far. We're very encouraged by this. We're going to carry on for the next two, three years or so, or more. I think, you know, Philippines is one of the very competitive basketball countries. I think, you know, uh, Filipinos love playing basketball as I already witnessed. You know, Filipinos basketball is like quite unique. Like the, the passion, the love, and how they, you know, make their efforts in the, in the game. I think it's very unique and also, uh, I think Media Pro make a very good effort in expanding uh, this tournament in Asia. So Media Pro Asia help us to have this tournament um, to, exp to be expanded internationally in Manila first at the first stop. So I think you know just a lot of different factors all coming to, to the one point. So I think this is the reason why I choose Philippines and Manila as our first stop. Hundreds of players from all around the country stormed the Dumlao Gymnasium on the first day of the tournament to register with their respective teams. Talents from different non-professional and commercial basketball leagues eagerly signed up for an opportunity to compete on the AF court. Up next, get to know the legendary commissioner of the 3x3 Golden League Manila as the action starts on the first day of the tournament. No sporting event can stand on its own without the supervision of an experienced and able leader to organize and facilitate throughout the course of the tournament. For 3x3 Golden League Manila, there's no better man fit for the job than a Pinoy Pro League legend that has set a ton of records and piled mountains of accolades throughout his career both locally and internationally. Let's meet our 3x3 Golden League Manila Commissioner. The Trigger Man, Alan Kaidik. Hi, I'm Alan Kaidik, and I am the Commissioner of the 3x3 Golden League Manila 2018. Well, I was approached uh, to do the commissioner dito, to commissionership, and I'm so excited na maging part nito because uh, 3x3 is very close to Filipinos, you know. So, uh, we can showcase our talent, uh, not just here, but abroad pa rin, ano? uh, kasi uh, whoever wins this tournament will represent the Philippines para sa uh, Asian level or sa world level. Kaya excited ako and so privileged na maging part nitong uh, 3x3 tournament na to. 
And another thing is, this is sanctioned by FIBA at saka ng SBP. So, siyempre, suporta tayo basta para sa Pilipinas. Well, sa tingin ko, mas mabilis ang result dito sa 3x3. It's a 10-minute game. Uh, race to 21. Whoever reached 21, panalo na. Medyo physical ng konti kasi talagang uh, full of action. Kaya interesting. Uh, alam mo naman mga Filipinos, gusto nila talaga yung fast-paced uh, game, di ba? So, maganda to. Uh, sanay tayo mga Pinoy dito dahil halos lahat tayo lumaki sa tatluhan nung araw. Of all the teams that participated in the tournament, the group from Camarina Sur, known as the NCF Tigers, were the first one to register, even though they were more than 10 hours drive away from Manila. They were also the first team to be known to feature players from the National Basketball League, Philippines. Actually, kagabi, dating namin kagabi. And then, hindi naman siguro po yung pagod namin. Sana po maging worth it yung pinagpapisa namin sa Kamsor po. Medyo madami-dami po ng especially skills and shootings. Uh, sana po yung mga pinagpapisa namin maging worth it. And especially sa community na mas namin sa dito. Speaking of NBL talents, the ballers of Das Marinas entered themselves into the tournament as well as they were fascinated by the opportunity to showcase their abilities. The team registered different four-man teams with John Cantimbuhan headlining Das Marinas Ballers A. Prepare kami ng ilang days din, pinagandaan namin to kasi yung expect namin sa 3-on-3 hindi katulad siya ng 5-on-5. Na dito sa 3-on-3, mga experience namin before, sigurado more on banging bodies at more on defense talaga sila. Kaya kailangan condition ka rin talaga dito kasi mas nakakapagod yung laro ng 3-on-3. Street ballers from different parts of the country and even from abroad take the stage when we return. For two days, players from all walks of life crowded the Dumlao Gymnasium to compete in some hard-hitting and fast-paced 3-on-3 three -three action. A lot of these ballers know the ropes when it comes to 3 on 3 competition, but for some, these are new experiences for their team. Um, ako po si Vince Valdez. I represent ko po yung team namin magkakapatid po. Naisipan lang po namin nung nakita namin siya na ina-endorse, ina-advertise na kukuha kami experience. Na ina-isip namin na maganda experience para sa amin. Yung, yung kuya po is sa 27. 23, twenty. Now for the spirit of competition. A guest team from China flew in to spice things up a bit and heat up the 3x3 Golden League Manila. These Tibetan players from Aba Prefecture in Sichuan Province were earlier crowned the Sina 3x3 Golden League Chengdu Stop Champions and are determined to make an impact in Manila. Chengdu
Chinese team is here to spice up the tournament a bit, to give the Filipino team a bit more competition as well. Um, having said that, they are not going to be winning anything, even if they finish champion. It is the Philippines team that's the best team that will qualify for the Elite League uh, in China in December. Uh, even in terms of prize money, cash prize money, all that, it is the Philippines team that will be winning it, not the Chinese. Chinese team is here purely as a guest because they won a similar Tibetan Sina 3 on 3 league in Tibet. So as an incentive for them, uh, they won a cash prize and as an incentive, we, we thought we should give them the hospitality, enjoy the Filipino hospitality over here. They're very unique players, you know, Tibet, Tibetan teams, they are all minority players in China. Uh, and in the Sichuan province, it's a first kind of idea we're trying to build a uh, Sina Provincial League. So in that league, they're the most elite players and the most outstanding players, they're the champion of the, uh, of the Sichuan stop. So uh, they represent, you know, the very unique culture of China. So the different culture of, you know, different culture between China and the Philippines make a good combination for marketing and for PR and also we wanted to you know, tell the story that is, you know, everyone can play basketball and also everyone can enjoy uh, basketball no matter where, where they are or who, it, who they are. Highlights on the half court never stop in the 3x3 Golden League Manila qualifiers. All that and a lot more when we return. As day two of the qualifying stages for the 3x3 Golden League Manila 2018 resumes, the action picks up and gets tougher by the round. Bodies are banging and nets are swishing. It's time to go all out for the teams who are desperate to secure a spot in the round of 32 for a shot to glory. A team that performed quite well throughout the tournament was Team BT who finished the qualifiers to their record of two wins with one loss and featured another NBL hotshot in Eloy Tan of the Marikina Shoemakers. Mas nakakapagod yung 3x3 kasi pag shoot mo, depensa agad. Sa 5 on 5, pag na-shoot kayo, may time ka pa para makapag Pahing nga kasi bababa ka pa sa court. Yung defense, kailangan namin defense kasi sa next games namin, malalaki na yung kalaban. Tsaka yung stamina rin, tsaka yung condition, kailangan doon pa rin. While some mounted wins to qualify, others were not too fortunate to get through to the next round. Team Fatima and the GSW Ballers were on the receiving end of a loss during the elimination round. Breaks of the game lang, nung crunch time, nakashoot sila kami, hindi. Uh, ganun lang talaga, basketball, may natatalo, may nananalo. Mahala, swerte, ganun. Yun lang, pahinga, kasi sunod-sunod yung games. Uh, tsaka maging mas focused and mature sa mga gantong pagkakataon. Up next, the much-awaited clash of the qualified teams delivers hot 3 of 3 action to another level.
after two days of hot and heavy half-court encounters, the action shifts to Makati as the playoffs get underway. The 3x3 Golden League Manila 2018 takes on a bigger stage at the halls of Ayala Mall Circuit as the final 32 teams vie for a spot on the quarterfinal round. Actually, ano, every day naman kami nagpa-practice kasi commercial team kami, FPR na met by ano, Boss Nino. So yun, every day naman nagpa-practice pero before this tournament, naka-cancel kasi ito. So yun, mas nakapag-prepare kami ng mas maraming. Uh, strategy namin na uh, stay aggressive lang every possession para mas maraming chance kami makatira, mas malaking chance namin. Na. Both young and experienced teams enter the playoffs with such optimism and eagerness as they aspire to advance further into the ranking stages. was built in the college na as in mag friends na kami sa Spar City family dun sa San Beda Alaba. Kaya yun, yun every day nagpa practice kami sa Monday to Friday ng morning. Ang strategy namin, syempre ano, work ang kasi yung philosophy namin like play defense very hard lang. Tapos yung offense saka na lang dadating. Yun. So pinuukos talaga namin defense. Tapos pag sa offense, the usual pick and roll to man game na. Si 3 on 3 lang naman. Every possession is important, every shot is crucial, everyone has their game face on. It's their time to shine and claim their spot for the playoffs. The playoffs bring surefire basketball highlights on the 3x3 Golden League Manila 2018 when we return. matches become more intense and the players start to showcase their medal as the quarterfinals of the 3x3 Golden League Manila 2018 picks up. Alright and now this is the first game of our quarterfinals. Our first game is the Dasma Ballers 2 versus the QC Capitals Rebound right there. Looking for his teammates. Swings it to the other side. Another long two. That hits its mark. That's a long two right there by QC Capital. Dasma Baller is trying to counter and successfully does in the same spot. It's a rebound. Dasma QC Ballers. Capital finding uh, seams inside in this game. Their drive game has been working, but that's another long two, and he makes it almost at the same spot where he did QC earlier. QC Capital has created some separation, eight to six. Dasma Ballers pulls up from from uh, the free throw line, misses its mark, but offensive rebound. Two-point shot. Ties the game at eight all. Tying the game up. Strong drive inside, loses the ball, trying to find a teammate. Another two-point shot, same spot. Makes that two-pointer. Back-to-back two-point shots for Dasso Ballers. Two. QC Capitals driving inside once again. Great drive, strong drive right there. QC Capital, but Dasso Ballers two counters with their fourth two-pointer. Looking for his teammate. Drives inside. No time left. Wide open from two. He makes that one. That is a clutch shot. Uh, right. The family, as you can see on screen, the family of Chairman Soy Mercado of the NBL and Mr. Saloidin Suleiman. Sinang time for QC. Strong drive, kicks it out. Fakes it. Easy layup and draws the foul. 
take the lead. Free throw shot. He makes that one, nothing but net. But two pointer from Daso Ballers, and he makes his sixth three pointer of the game to take a one point lead. Seven seconds left. Two pointer for QC Capital is no good. Put back. Misses its mark as Dasna Ballers 2 comes out with a clutch shot to win their quarterfinals game with a, with a two pointer. The quarterfinals, as we have our second game, the Metrostar Realty versus PCU Dasma 2 are trying to look for that two pointer. Steps back. Still way long. Draws another foul. And another chance at the free throw line. PCU Dasma trying to find some offense. Fakes. Great bank shot right there. Short bank shot. Are finally secures that uh, defensive rebound. No look pass. Great pass right there. An easy shot from Metro Star. Once again, almost goes in as Metro Star gets that defensive rebound. Looking for that post up. That's a very long two pointer that goes in. Metro Star. Misses that one. PCU counters with a two, doesn't go in. Another two pointer for Metro Star. Back to back two pointers for Metro Star Real T. One pointer. Long two pointer for PCU, but Metro Star Real T can't miss. They'll have a lot of time. Completes the steal. Long two pointer. It goes in as PCU Dasma 2 has cut the lead down to two. Metro Star Realty steps back for a two pointer counters. With their four point lead, Metro Star Realty wants to make that two pointer to end this game. Shoots that two pointer, misses. And we have a rebound. Offensive rebound right there. Misses its mark. Defensive rebound for PCU. Last shot time for them. They still have a lot of time. They can tie this one. Three, two, pulls up from three. Almost makes that back shot. Second quarter final game. Very exciting two games for our quarter finals. As uh, Metro Star Realty comes out or escapes PCU Dasma with a one point lead. All right, and we are back. And this is our third quarter finals game here at the 3x3 Golden League Manila 2018. As we have the gig versus the ABA Prefecture team. ABA Prefecture team from Tibet. Great crossover right there for the gig and easy layup. So Tibet, great fake. Drive right, physical play inside. No call, but makes the shot. Ties the game at three. ABA. That's a two pointer for ABA Prefecture. Outside, great fake at that handoff. Up and under move is good for the gig. Another two point shot for Prefecture, and that one is once again good. Posting up inside, strong move, no foul called. Two pointer from the gig, nothing but net. Looking for a space inside. The gig, five seconds on the shot clock, pulls up from two, makes that two pointer. Prefecture, strong move inside for that one point shot to give them a one point lead. That two point shot. The gig tries to shoot another two pointer. Misses that one. So just a two point, two on two game right now. But Abba finish the game, finishes the game with that two pointer and moves into our semi finals. Abba Prefecture showing that two point stroke. So we'll be back to uh, play our fourth quarter final game here at the 3XC Golden League Manila 2018. And our last game uh, for the quarterfinals is between Big Boss Idol and FEU NURMFA. FEU hands off, asks for that screen, pulls up from two. That two pointer makes it, puts him on the board with one point. FEU, another two pointer. Makes that two pointer back to and back. Completes the two point play. One, seven. Up seven to one. But Big Boss Idol counters with a two pointer. Big Boss. 
Big Boss posting up. One-legged step back fadeaway. Pick and roll play doesn't work for FEU. Big Boss counters with a two-pointer to tie the game at nine. Big Boss looking for an opening. Hands it off. 101. Post. Beautiful spin move by Big Boss Idol. But FEU counters with an easy layup. Defense by Big Boss, but FEU secures it. Takes it out. FEU. FEU. With a one-point lead, Big Boss shoots a two-pointer. Makes that two-point shot to give them a one-point lead. 14 seconds for FEU. FEU. Pick and pop. Crucial shot. Misses his two-pointer. Needs the foul. So we have our winner, Big Boss Idol, defeats FEU and URMF A, and they move on to the semifinals. As we move on with our uh, tournament, we will have our semifinals coming up. After four grueling matches, Big Boss Idol, ABBA Prefecture, Metro Star Realty, and Dust Marinas Ballers shook off their opponents to move on to the semis. We're down to the top four teams of our tournament, and we have the Dasma Ballers 2 against Metro Star Realty as our commissioner. Commissioner Alan Kaidik is uh, on our players, giving some tips. A lot of players from uh, Dasma Ballers are from the NBL, so they're representing us well. Great fake right there. Put a point up on the board with that free throw. So the ball will go back to Metro Star, who pounds it inside. Spins. Everything but the shot. Dasma Ballers. With the jumper. Dasma Ballers now up by one after being down by four. Now up by three, seven of four. That's the ballers. Corner, corner three. That looks good and is good. Open 4-2, he loves this shot. Makes that shot. The day of the game morning for uh, that's the ballers, but they're up by eight, very comfortable margin. All air, but offensive rebound by Metrostar goes in. But Dasma Ballers, number one once again, has been on a roll. Metro Star, two-pointer, misses the mark. Almost makes that two-pointer once again. Dasma Ballers just on fire in this game, specifically number one. He's been crazy in this game. Scored more than half of his points and secures that one. Open two-pointer. Almost rolls in. The Metro Star just couldn't. Impossible to surmount this kind of lead with just 35 seconds on the clock. That's a baller just uh, passing the ball around. But was fouled by uh, Metro Star, according to the referee, and he goes to the line to push the lead to 20. He scores down 20 to 11. Metro Star. Last chance effort, still no go. Still trying to push, uh, shoot that three-pointer. And Dasso Ballers with just 15 seconds left will come out with a win in this game. No need to, uh, there you go. That's easy, but he shoots all air. Metro Star Realty with the last shot effort. And there you go, our first winner. And our first finalist of our 3x3 Golden League Manila 2018, we have Dasma Ballers 2, represented by a lot of NBL players. They're going to be in the finals between the ABBA Prefecture versus Big Boss Idol. So ABBA Prefecture in gray uniforms. Point line. Two-pointer. Misses for Big Boss. Defensive rebound secured by ABBA. He loves his two-pointers, and he makes that one. one for 2 It's his specialty. He's been making a lot of those the entire game. Big Boss, great moves down low. 
Short jumper, no good, still offensive rebound once again, and he makes that shot. Abba is dangerous from the inside and the outside. That shot right there goes in once again. Abba pre Prefecture on defense, big boss, using his speed. He's been making those. If, of course, if they manage to win the championship, they're not eligible for any uh, prize. So this big boss idol, who's been playing very well, and the basket counts for Big Boss Idol. Strong move. Great fake. That shot counts plus the foul. Misses for Abba Prefecture. They're not making their two-pointers in this game. Number one loves to shoot his two-pointers and backs that one in. And we have a traveling violation against... Uh, Abba Prefecture to uh, cut the lead down to one. Offensive rebound by Big Boss Idol. Counter stops that run. Prefecture, this is his game. Great drop pass. Great shot. Number two couldn't quite finish. Another two-pointer for Big Boss Idol. Want that two-pointer. That's their shot. Misses completely. All board. Another two-pointer for Big Boss. Three straight two-pointers for Big Boss Idol. Controlling the court. Easy drive inside. Two free throws for Big Boss Idol. So that means if they shoot both of this, Big Boss Idol, first free throw. He's been missing his free throws the entire game. Makes the first. Makes this one. Game is done. The free throw to send Big Boss to the finals. Let's see. Big Boss now in the finals of 3x3 Golden League Manila 2018. Defeating our foreign friends from Tibet, the Abba Prefecture. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an all-local finals right here. On our 3x3 Golden League Manila 2018, Big Boss Idol taking down Abba Prefecture 21 to 13. The last match of the day has come, and our players are ready to give their best shot. It's the finals of the 3x3 Golden League Manila 2018 coming up. At last. It's the final match of the day, and both teams are ready to claim the championship. Just uh, this evening, as we are down to our top two teams of the night, and of course the champion team will take home $3,000 and will go to China to represent the Philippines in the Cena 3x3, and uh, the second place, or the first runner-up, will not go home empty-handed. They'll go home with $1,000. US So number one against one of the players to watch also, Number three for uh, Big Boss Idol, but NASA Ballers hits, handling the ball, pulls up, makes that two, makes that one pointer, that long one pointer. Big Boss Idol counters with a great, great layup. Big Boss Idol handling, drives inside, kicks it out. Great drop pass to his teammates. Big Boss Idol looking for an opening, drives right. Number four counters from Big Boss Idol, setting it up. Wants to clear space, shoots that bank of a th banker. Hasn't made a two-pointer this entire game. Open two, decides not to shoot it, decides to drive inside and kick it out. Kicks it out for a two-pointer, it's good for Big Boss Idol. Still manageable lead at this point. But Big Boss Idol just pounding it inside, five-point lead. Shoots another two-pointer. He knew that was going in. But Dasso Ballers counters with a two-pointer of their own. Two-point game. As Big Boss Idol counters with an end one for Big Boss Idol. But Dasso Ballers, you know these guys aren't going to give up. Beautiful move by Dasso Ballers. Two. They can end it with a two-pointer. Great drive inside. Easy layup by Big Boss Idol. Last point time. For Big Boss Idol. Two-pointer. No good. 
winning time for Big Boss Idol. If they make this, they're $3,000 richer. Drives inside. Short jumper. Doesn't make that one. That's a baller still alive. Big Boss Idol. Controlling. Stolen by Dasso Ballers. Drives inside. Drops it off. Dasso Ballers for three. Short once again. Last point time for Big Boss Idol. Clearing. He wants to clear it out. Drives inside. Finishes the game. Big Boss Idol is our 3x3 Golden League Manila 2018 champion as they take down the Dasma Ballers to 21 to 16 to secure that championship, winning $3,000 and an all expense paid ticket to compete in the 3x3 in China. So, congratulations once again to Big Boss Idol showing how it's done. In the end, it was Big Boss Idol that came out victorious as they continued its three-on-three -three basketball domination by taking down the Dasmarinas Ballers and be hailed as the first 3x3 Golden League Manila 2018 champions. Aside from the prize money of 3,000 US dollars for the winners, the champs will also be representing the Philippines at the inaugural Sina 3x3 Elite League Finals where 16 champion teams from renowned and established 3x3 leagues from around the world congregate to compete for the top prize. Well, I'm so happy na naging maganda naman yung result and it's a successful one. And this wouldn't be possible without the help of all the sponsors. Uh, yung partners natin, yung Media Pro, yung uh, Sina Sports, and of course the NBL Group, uh, at saka sa lahat ng mga tumulong para maging successful tong event na to. Well, you can see the 3x3 is a lot physical game compared to the regular 5x5. So the players should be focused, especially yung nanalong team, they should be uh, preparing doubly hard kasi for sure, it will be a physical game come the Sina Elite League sa China this December. So, talagang uh, we will be ano, uh, under ano, sa height dahil malalaki yung mga kalaban, but siguro hindi naman tayo papahuli sa talent at saka sa experience. I think, first of all, it is truly beyond my expectation. Uh, it's my first time here in the Philippines, and also it was truly a great experience for me to experience the uh, you know, the local Filipinos basketball is full of passion, full of love, and they're really into the game. And uh, the competition is really competitive, and also it's very fierce, and uh, the physicality is like, it's very strong. So I think, you know, regarding all this will be a, the highlights of the three days tournament. And then we are very happy to have this, our final champion, who is going to represent the Philippines to play in our senior elite in December. So I think this three days event is truly awesome. Para sa amin, isang napakagandang experience ito. Uh, nakita namin ulit kung paano mag-compete sa kapwa Pilipino. As kami, nakipag-compete kami last October 5 to 8 to, sa China. And nakita naman namin na hindi talaga biro yung talent ng mga Pinoy. Final game namin, uh, okay naman. Medyo pagod na rin kasi kaya nagkoklaps na rin. Yung iba sablay. Eh, Kung talo, talo. Kung panalo, panalo. Uh, binigay naman namin yung lahat ng mga kaya namin at masaya sa kami sa resulta. Uh, unexpected sa amin na mag-champion kami dito kasi first time lang namin sumahal sa 3 on 3. Uh, so, yung sa una, talagang go hard kami. Tsaka enjoy lang namin yung game. Kaya ito, makarating na kami dito. Kaya masaya kami. The tournament has ended with a lot of local players being able to showcase their talents on the three-on-three -three stage. Three days of half-court action and tough competition was well worth it for these young, aspiring ballers. With the conclusion of the 3x3 Golden League Manila 2018, many have taken notice of the unique excitement and influence it has on local street ball. Rest assured, three-on-three -three tournaments all around the Philippines will bring out the best of our players in the future.